Hi guys, I am Isa, and today I'm going to learn how to make a digital clock using HTML and CSS. So anyways, the first thing we're going to do is to add a div with the class of, just going to have the class of clock. And then, there's going to be another div. the ID of clock text. So I'm going to just, just say like 12000. So we're going to add some JavaScript into this later. So let me just copy the index.html pass. This now it just, you know, shows that. So let's add some styling to this thing. So anyways, let me just link the CSS. Just link browse style she's harass style.css. And then my style.css, I'm gonna say body display flex on item center and justify content center. So now it's it's there. Yeah, and I'm also just going to add another div the class of view. I'm going to so at least so I'm going to Dot I'm going to say text size. So I'm going to say font, font size. I'm going to be like 10 bh. And I'm going to say font family. Font family is just going to be monospace. Say padding 20px 14px. Now it looks like that. I'm going to say dot view background in your gradient. Say white red comma. I also exist now. I'm going to say border radius 5px. So I'm just going to change this on your radius from this pin from white blue. I'm going to add white, color, and white green. So it looks like that. I'm going to say 135 deg, which means 135 degrees. So now it looks like that. So now I could just remove this background from the clock. So now it looks like that. I'm going to say keyframes. I'm going to say keyframes and in. I'm going to say 100%. Let's say filter. You rotate. 360 deg. So now nothing happens because we have to add the animation onto the dot view. I'm going to say animation. 
one second. Infinite. And in. So now it's both like that. So I'm just going to change the E and so on here. So now it looks like that. So I'm going to see has to have a clock text. So the clock text is going to say I mean so I'm going to add to the clock text. Going to be red. So now it's color changes with all the other things. This is body. I'm just gonna add a background of black. So now it looks like that. Now so if you select the text, it changes the color of it. And also, if we change the size of the screen, the size of the clock changes with it, since you do hate the font size. So anyways, so that's pretty much all the styling that we're going to do. So now we have to move into the JavaScript. I need to say script. I'm going to say font clock is equal to document dot get element by id clock text. I'm going to say I'm going to say what time equal to Let's date equal to new date. So I'm going to say walk dot in text equal to date dot get date dot get hours. to document. Now we chose the current hour in 24 hour format, which we don't want, but we're going to find a workaround to that later. We just say what? Hours equal to date stop. to say clock dot in our text is equal to power plus what's it put a column plus minutes plus another column plus seconds so now it shows the correct time it only shows it once. If we reload it, it, it changes. So I'm going to reset interval. I'm going to use an arrow function. Yeah.
idea of the time keeps on changing. And since the hell is like that, and we don't want it to be like that, I'm going to say if Features like one, then oh my god, to say one instead of zero, one. So I'm also going to say if minutes is greater than ten, and minutes is less than ten, then okay. minutes is equal to. There's no change since he knows in it isn't like that. But I'm going to I'm just going to see. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to say if seconds is less than ten and then seconds equal to zero plus seconds. Mm -hmm. It just can't ask a second. Before initialization, so Now we the time. So we we'll just wait for some time. So now it says zero one and that's just saying one. So anyways, that's kind of it. So anyways, that's the end of today's tutorial. So if you've enjoyed, then leave a like and subscribe. So bye!